Good day, everyone, and welcome to week three for my eighth grade students. These are their vocab words for the week. They are dungarees, warble, daybreak, brawny, inclement, and gratitude. So let's jump into the first word this week and figure out what it means. The first word this week is dungarees, and we here in America know them more specifically as blue jeans. So this is a noun. It's a thing, something that you wear. And as you can see in this image here, uh, in America, we might call dungarees um, overalls. So we know them more specifically as overalls. They're made of a denim material. And I could use this word in a sentence by saying, the dungarees fit so comfortable, I wore them every day. Or, I don't like dungarees. They are very ugly and not very nice. So synonyms of this word would be chaps, pants, trousers, or denim. Dungarees. The next word this week is warble. Warble. And it's something you do. It means to sing. So as you can see in this image here, this woman is singing. Oh, that means to warble. Um, typically, we think of warbling as something that birds do. So when birds sing, we think of that as being a warble. So synonyms of warble would be sing, carol, quaver, or yodel. Warble. The next word this week is daybreak. Daybreak. Now this is a thing, or it could be an experience, something that you see and observe. And it's simply the first light of day. So as you can see, the sun here is coming up over the horizon. It is now daybreak. So um, a lot of times people go and watch daybreak at the beach. They see the, the beautiful sun come up over the ocean's horizon. That's a really lovely sight. Um, this is also known as dawn, daylight, morning, sunrise, or sun up. Daybreak. The next word this week is brawny. Brawny. And this is an adjective. It's something that you do to describe someone or something, and it means strong or muscular. As you can see in this image here, we have a very skinny man and then a very strong or brawny man. So football players are known to be brawny. Um, uh, your mom or dad might be really into fitness and lift weights, so they might be brawny. Um, synonyms for this word would be beefy, bulky, burly, sturdy, athletic, powerful, robust, or vigorous brawny. The next word this week we have a lot of experience with in Florida, and that is inclement. Inclement. And it means stormy or harsh situation. Now, it doesn't literally have to be a stormy type weather situation. It can be anything that is stormy or harsh um, in, in terms of a situation. So a football game could be inclement if it's not going the way you want it to. A video game session could be inclement if you're losing and not winning. But typically, we use the word inclement to refer to bad weather. So synonyms of inclement would be brutal, cold, hard, harsh, rough, severe, stormy, or violent. Inclement. The next word this week is gratitude. Gratitude. We speak a lot about this at our school, and it means to be thankful or to have thankfulness and appreciation. So as you can see here, this boy is being having lots of gratitude. He's thanking us or someone who's close to him. You might show gratitude to your parents if they give you permission to go to the movies with your friends. You might show gratitude towards a friend who brings you um, a delicious snack that you really like. Um, gratitude is a good thing to show towards others, and synonyms of it might be recognition, thanks, appreciativeness, gratefulness, or praise. Gratitude. Well, thanks so much for joining us this week. Here's a list of our eighth grade wor words for week three, and they were dungarees, warble, Daybreak, brawny, inclement, and gratitude. Well, thanks again for joining us. I hope to see you next time. Bye.